Welcome back to another episode of Mad Aussie Adventures. We're heading off this morning. We're leaving Bimby Park and we're heading back onto the Great Ocean Road, heading east. This is my favourite part of the coastline. It's all beautiful, but uh, heading on towards Lawn and we'll decide where we, where we stay. But I'll put a couple of clips on just to show you what we've been doing over the last couple of days and we'll see you on the road. Beautiful. Oh, hold on. Do you want to share a story about a mouse in a box? Oh. <laughs> it's so hilarious. All I right. Nearly, I nearly wet myself. What? Yeah, okay. All right, so I put, I've got um, these protein bars that I, that I eat and all the rest. And so I've put my hand in and, oh, there's a mouse. <laughs> wasn't a mouse. Ah, uh, that's what it was. <laughs> You've got to try and picture us. Picture this. So he's reached in, thought it's a mouse, and he squeezed it. So when he squeezed it, it's gone all mushy. So you can imagine what you're thinking. Yeah, well, I thought I'm going to kill you, you little bastard. <laughs> it was an avocado. <laughs> it's an avocado. Ultra man. Who puts avocado in a box? Good tip for you. If you need to ripen your avocados, put them in a box. It works a treat. Anyway, see you on the road. <laughs> or don't. Just don't put them in a box. <laughs> or tell me if you do. These cost a fortune. We ought to get them for 200 and something dollars each. Yep. Off eBay. Giants. Giants storage boxes, they're called. On eBay. Cost another couple hundred dollars to get them powder coated. They're filthy. But, uh, here's the Jenny. And with the Jenny, we fit all our. All that chocks and levelers and all that sort of stuff. This one fits our, our all our water in it. Um, and we're just going to fill our tanks up. So we've come up with a new system, haven't we, Gibbo? Yeah. Since yes. the last one was a disaster. <laughs> the old mate Gary from 12 volts uh, sold me this, and he reckons they're great. So. This had calipers on it and they, they put an Anderson plug on it for me. Oh. oh, look at that. A little bit better. So you don't have to stand there and do anything. Yeah, that's excellent. That's amazing. Look at that, look how quickly it's gone down. Yeah, it's ripping it short. Hopefully you can see the water level just dropping. Look at bush fires with that. You tell me when to start. Ready, set, go. I'll probably slow it down a bit. <laughs> That's it. Stop. The harnesses for the, uh, what do you call it? The zip line. The zip line. They look fine. Yeah. Because yeah. so, I'm claustrophobic, but I could could have worn them. Just yeah. the price, I wouldn't pay 140 bucks. But I'd love yeah. to do it. 120 per person. I thought it's 140. Okay. No. Still too dear. So it's them getting harnessed up now. I'd love right. to do it. Yeah, that's what I was just watching. Yeah. 
So just to be correct, it's the Ottawa Fly Treetop Adventures. I just keep calling it the treetop walk. Yeah. <laughs> I love these waterfalls here. I've loved everyone. Yeah, <laughs> be cool. Have a look at their map. Oh, you've got a big tower you can climb up. Cool. Driving up here, it didn't look like there were a lot of trees in the area, did it? <laughs> no. You just come into a little compact area and it's yeah, exactly. all dense. You want to go through the fairy garden, Gibbo? Let's do it. <laughs> it's very cute for the kitties. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Look at that. Pretty hard when what we've already seen was so magnificent, oh, isn't it? Absolutely. But this is just sort of meh. So far, but if you'd seen this first, you'd be amazed. I yeah. Reckon. Yeah. But some of the beauty we've seen, this is nothing. Hello, Enya. <laughs> Have a look at that. There's the tops of the trees. We're not over the top yet, but we're a fair way up. Oh yeah, no, it's getting a bit higher, isn't it? The tower. Let's do it, eh? Crazy Gibbo. Get down from there. So no support, we're on a cantilever. <laughs> Gets a sway up, doesn't it? That's good, isn't it? A lot, huh? <laughs> no one else probably does, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You get used to it after that. <laughs> So that's what we were just standing on. Got a little bit wobbly at the end. Thanks for me. <laughs> Was that? That was lovely. It was pretty gorgeous, wasn't it? Imagine being here on construction day. Have a look at it.
How beautiful is this? The Great Ocean Road! Yay! <laughs> so we're on our way to Lawn. We've got uh, no accommodation again. So let's just see if we find something this time. We've been lucky all the way along, haven't we, so far? We have been so jammy. We could have stayed for another day, but you know when you're in a spot for three days and you just sort of, I don't know, I've got itchy feet. I want to move on. You know what they say? Happy wife, miserable husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been off grid for four days. Still got 100% battery power. That's using coffee machines and stuff. I can't say enough about lithium. Awesome cafe. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, four days off grid, fully off grid, and still full power. Just for all you drivers out there, just leave a comment below. Like you're in a big caravan, turning corners, and how many times are these little cars cut the corner on you? Seriously. It's beyond a joke. That's why we keep hesitating every now and then. If you're unsure about travelling the Great Ocean Road um, with the windy hills and the steepness, um, like we're pulling like 20 foot van basically and Gibbo's handling it very well. So Yeah, but we're used to the Adelaide Hills. Yeah. Um, but if you're worried about how your car can handle it, we've got an MR Triton with our van's nearly fully loaded, so we're pretty close to three ton. Uh, the car's nearly at capacity as well. And uh, so going up these hills and everything else, not a problem. It's pulling up, as a, yeah, it's pulling up everything like a dream. Yeah. We've had no problems. Um, people say you need a V8, this, that, and the other. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'd love one. Can't afford one. Um, and yeah, they'll probably do the job a hell of a lot better, but geez, we're getting good fuel economy and we're doing this easy. No problem at all. We've lost our reverse camera on yeah. the caravan, which is really annoying. Um, it's turning on, but another car. <laughs> it's turning on, but we're just not getting a signal, so which is unfortunate, but. Because that wasn't a lot over, the others have been cutting it right over. So hopefully we'll get some nice footage for you. And if you haven't been up to the Great Ocean Road in some time, uh, put it on your list to do again because it's uh, certainly worth a revisit. Well, it's been about 30 years we worked out since we've been here. Yeah. And the last time we did it was on a motorbike. We rode all the way from Broken Hill. That was a big trip. That was a huge trip. Um, like we we went from Broken Hill to Geelong in a day, and then spent four hours riding around that night trying to find accommodation. That's right. It nearly killed us. Right. It wasn't pleasant. <laughs> Here's Y River. I don't know why, but there's a river here. Beach area looks nice. Yeah, very rocky. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, this beach area is very nice. That's nice. Oh, up here. oh nice hotel, you'll see that in the GoPro. Overlooking the beach. Oh, it's lovely up there. Mm. So we're heading to, where are we heading? Was it, what's the camp? Um, big Hill Track. Couldn't ring up, no no one's got accommodation, this, that and the other. And this one you can't ring, and it's Big Hill Track, yeah. campgrounds. So we're hoping um, we'll drive in and we might find a spot. Yeah, it's around $15 a night, but I tried to, you know, normally you've got a link that you can get on and, and book your site online but it was yeah very difficult to find the, the right one so it was taking me to a general site where all the campsites were but I couldn't find this particular campsite on there so anyway I'll see how we go and if that's no 
good, we'll move on and find something else. Mm. Well, the first night we stayed in a rest bay or something, didn't we? Oh, yeah, that was just travelling oh, from A to B. That's, that's right. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. We, just, yeah, we only had a nap for a few hours and then moved yeah. on. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. So you'll see our night try travelling with our new lights. Um, Probably already have. <laughs> Boy, do those lights light up the road, don't they? Oh. <laughs> They're, good. They're good. Yeah, we had light bars, two light bars before. We had a nudge bar on the on the car, in front of the car, a small with a small light bar, and then we had a big light bar up the top. Um, now we've gone to now we've put the rue bar on. We've got two spotties on the front. Which give us a nice beam straight down the road for a good for a good distance, and we've gone for a the newest U Butte great light bar, both the same brand. I can't remember what the brand is, but I'll write it. I will do a review on it later. Oh, um, you idiot! Oh, um, you idiot! Look at that. See, that's, that's, oh. they're the idiots we've got to watch out for. That, that was so close to an accident. We've got a cyclist in front of us. Oh, you would have seen that. Ah. Anyway, back to my story. <laughs> back to the bar line. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we, the combination of the two are brilliant because as soon as we put the top one on, it just floods the whole road up and it's still got some side spotties on it as well. And these other ones are straight down the middle, and seriously, we just light the whole road up. It's insane. It's like we thought the other ones were good, but this this is so much better. You know, like why do you need it this bright? Why do you you know, like this one always says, "Are well, you overdoing it?" You can never overdo safety. And we're getting older, and the the more we can light the road up, the the, the better. Saved our butt already. That room, remember? Yeah. It was so dark and blended in. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I don't reckon we would have seen him with the no. old with the old lights. No. To be honest, as good as what they were, we yeah. wouldn't have seen that one. He was right on the road, ready to come out too. And thanks to um, a lot of people um, giving us, telling us the places to stay, um, sending things through, greatly appreciated. Chris and Aaron, and me old mate Fog. Thanks guys. Um, what you told us to check out was awesome. So we turned into Big Hill Track. We thought we'd give it a crack. Now we're turning back. Um, yeah, it's all the first campsite's chockers. Uh, we, we, lucky we stopped and asked someone, is there any further up? And they said, uh, if you go up any further, it's really, really tight. And there's a big camber in the road and it's right on the edge of a cliff and rah rah rah. This is no way you get your van around it. So uh big hill track, goodbye. everyone okay so we're currently in Wynn Chelsea and we've just stopped at this reserve which is free I'll just spin you around anyway the reserve is Barwon River Reserve um, it's just for RVs and caravans and it's a maximum stay of 48 hours but you've got a nice big open lawn areas to park so there we are, and right behind us here is the city pool, and just up this road 
uh, a, a big toilet blocks. So you're pretty well set. Under a big shady tree. Beautiful, isn't it? It's nice. I'll just show you the river. So there you go. If it was clean, it'd be beautiful to jump in and have a swim. <laughs> you comfortable there, you know? Doesn't get much better than this. Stinking hot. 40 degrees. Ah. <laughs> that fan works a treat, doesn't it? That's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Show them where we hooked it up. You can sit it on a bucket of water. Yeah. Oh, we've just plugged it into the front of the van there. Um, do you remember how much it was? 170 bucks, I think, with a battery and power pack. So, yeah. So the battery just sits in that container at the back there. Just open that up. And away you go. Gibbo is, like, drenched. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Literally beautiful. You've got a couple of different settings um, with the mist. You've got two, it just... speeds, two speeds for your fan and you've got two speeds on your pump. That, and your pump is for when you... We've got the pump on in the van so we don't need the pump on that. But if you sit that on a bucket of water, you, you've got two different speeds for your pump for the mist. Yeah. Is that on video yet? <laughs> Where are you down there? <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> so the little uh, reserve that we were staying at by the river, um, I just mentioned before that uh, they've got their city pool right next to us. Um, but also if you swing around, there's a playground up there for the kids. How good was that, Anya? Yeah, just that's... just met up with Pete and Jan in a van. Yeah. <laughs> that's their YouTube channel. What beautiful people they are. So, um, yeah, and they live up around our area and we might be doing a little bit of catching up with them a bit later on. It'd be great. And they're heading the same route as we are at the moment. Heading towards Melbourne Way. So, yeah. Probably see them on our travel. <laughs> yeah. It was lovely to meet up with them. A nice clean toilet block there. Walking distance. There's the camping area straight through there where you can see that van. That's the end of it. And that's where we're just up a little we're just we were just up a little bit further. You can see all the vans coming in now. Sorry Andy. It's a busy place. Oh it is busy. Look what we got right across from us. How good is this? Walking distance again, a little cafe. Oh, and where are we? Yeah, over the road, over behind the toilets, is a uh, nice pub. Um, bit of shopping, you know, IGA and all the rest of it. Yeah, easily walking distance into town. Yeah, everything's sort of really easy walking distance here, isn't it? It's a new service station up there to fuel up. Yeah, so what do you think, Daniel? We're heading off to our next destination which is Brimley. Sure. Oh, Brimley, that's it. Yeah.